Well, as we now know, no charges will be filed against Hillary Clinton for being careless with her emails. But now Republicans in Congress are working on legislation to take away her security clearance. So how would that work? Well, we're going to ask Homeland Security Chairman Congressman Michael McCall. He started a petition to make it happen, and he joins us now. Mr. Chairman, how would you go about blocking a security clearance for Hillary Clinton through Congress? Well, the FBI director said she exercised extreme carelessness uh, in her handling of classified information. So we simply introduced a, a bill legislation that if you exercise extreme carelessness uh, rather than gross negligence, uh, your security clearance will be revoked or any application will be uh, denied. It's very just as simple as that. I think it sends a strong message uh, to the community out there who do hold security clearances as to what the standard really is. You know, if Mrs. Clinton was still in the State Department, uh, she would have been not only reprimanded, but her security clearance most likely would have been revoked. And we possibly would have been talking about her termination uh, mm -hmm. from the State Department as secretary rather than her coronation now as the nominee for the Democratic Party. Sure. Just to get back to the particulars of the bill, obviously you can't target a bill on one individual, but you would be rewording the federal code as far as what the definition is so as to fit exactly you know, what she did or others like her would do. Right, taking what the FBI director said she did, which I believe, uh, you know, it's, it's a broader um, issue than, than this as well. She compromised, as the FBI director said, possibly some of the top most sensitive programs uh, in the federal government. She had the top diplomat uh, possibly compromising uh, classified information to our top adversaries. Uh, I find that uh, deeply disturbing. Uh, it is, in my judgment, gross negligence, and I think mm -hmm. she put uh, national security uh, at stake here. Well, of course, there's huge national security implications of sources and methods and others who are actively in the field uh, for our national security. What are you hearing in the Homeland Security community about this double standard, about the fact that for her, this gross negligence and, and extreme carelessness, she was able to get away with, but your rank and file uh, member of the military or the State Department, they did anywhere, anything near that, uh, they would be fried for it. Can you, is there a way to close the gap on that, or is that just a leadership issue? Uh, I think the bill is an attempt to close the gap, but leadership is, is part of this. I, it's a double standard. The Clintons have had this double standard for decades now, and they've demonstrated once again that the law doesn't apply to them. They can get away with this stuff. Uh, I've had a, ser a security clearance since 1990. Um, if I did this, my security clearances would be revoked. And not only that, uh, Pete, most importantly, she took devices into countries yeah. where our foreign adversaries are. When I go into these countries, I'm told not to take these devices in because they can't get this information. And yet she had Seven of these emails had special access programs, which we know are some of the top, most sensitive programs, both covert and, and otherwise, sure. that the United States has. Absolutely. Mr. Chairman, if you would handicap the prospects of this bill as leadership supporting it, do you see it moving out of the House? Would the Senate introduce it? Uh, obviously, the president would likely be opposed. You'd need a veto uh, override. But what are well, the prospects? Sure. Well, uh, of course, uh, there'd be a veto threat. But uh, Speaker Paul Ryan's called upon the DNI to revoke her clearances. Uh, Senator Cornyn, the number two guy in the Senate, has introduced the companion bill. And I think most importantly, we're trying to make a statement that this is not fair to the other uh, people in the intelligence community that have security clearances, that play by the rules, and that she violates them in an extreme careless and I think gross negligence way yeah. and somehow gets away with it. Well, Mr. Chairman, you're right. I mean, we've got to reestablish the ethos inside that community that, uh, that what they do matters and will be protected. Chairman Michael McCall, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, Pete. You got it.